Hi everyone. Yesterday I started the engineering mathematics subject and I discussed some points like how the matrix is defined and types of matrices. And now coming to the unit matrix. If all the diagonal elements of your diagonal matrix are 1, then the matrix is said to be unit matrix and it is also called as identity matrix. If you see the example, first of all, it can be denoted by IN. And if you see the example, I1 means the order is 1, 1 by 1 and 1 row, 1 column. And I2 means 2 by 2 matrix, 2 rows and 2 columns. Similarly, we can write I3, I4 and I5. And coming to the triangular matrix, a matrix which is either upper triangular or lower triangular matrix, then it is said to be triangular matrix, which means a matrix either be upper triangular or lower triangular matrix. And coming to the upper triangular matrix, if all the elements below the principal diagonal are 0, then in a square matrix, then the matrix is called upper triangular matrix. It means if you see the example, the principal diagonal is 2, 4, 9 and below the elements are 0, then the matrix is said to be upper triangular matrix. In given example, that matrix of order is 3 by 3 and it can also be written as 3 for only square matrices. And coming to the lower triangular matrix, if all the elements above the principal diagonal are 0, then it is said to be lower triangular matrix. If you see the example, 2, 4, 9 is the principal diagonal. Above the all elements are 0, then it is said to be lower triangular matrix. Real matrix. If all the elements of matrix A are real numbers, then it is said to be real matrix. A matrix which contains only real numbers, then it is said to be real matrix. And coming to the complex matrix, if at least one of the element of a matrix A is purely imaginary or complex, then it is said to be complex matrix. If you see the example, you can find 2i, 3i, 4 plus 3i like that, where i equal to at the root of minus 1. If you see the i in a matrix, then it is said to be complex matrix. And coming to the scalar matrix, if all the diagonal elements of your matrix are same or equal, then the matrix is said to be scalar matrix. If you see the example, the diagonal elements are same. It may be real or imaginary, but the diagonal element should be same. If you recall the identity matrix, the diagonal element should be only one. There is no imaginary numbers. There is no complex numbers. But in scalar matrix, there may be imaginary number. There may be real number. There may be any number. But the diagonal elements are should be same. And coming to the transpose of a matrix, if the matrix B of order n by m is obtained from a matrix, a of order m by n by changing its rows into columns and its columns into rows then the matrix is b of order n by m is called transpose of a and it is denoted as a1 or a transpose which means if you consider one matrix the rows are interchanged into columns or columns interchanged in to rows. If you by interchanging the rows into columns or columns into rows, if you get the same matrix, then it is said to be a transpose of matrix. Now I am stopping and the continuation will be seen in next video. And if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.